And Betty looks into swirl here. We are going to do a pour over something that I haven't shown you yet onto a canvas. This is an 8x10 canvas. That means we'll need at least 5 ounces of paint to make sure we cover the whole thing. I am going to be using Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint today. Here are the colors I've chosen. Violet, uh, black, silver, crimson, and yellow. So other than the silver, I'm well, maybe the purple. I'm sort of staying away from my favorite colors. I'm trying to be more dramatic. Because after we get our cup layered, we are going to be pouring over this. Whoa. Found this at a dollar store. Uh, I took the elastic uh, off of it that you use to hold it on your face at Halloween. And uh, I am going to basically be concentrating my pour on the place up and down here with the holes. I am not trying to cover the entire mask. I'm sure some will be dripping down, um, but I'm, I'm going to go for the holes. And uh, we'll see what we get. So, five ounces coming up. That would be about half of this bowl. It's a 10 ounce cup. Oh, that's way more than, well, it's certainly more than half. And if we need to add more around the edges, we can certainly do that. I don't know how much will stay on the mask. Okay, you ready? Here we go. All right. Just going to let it flow for a few seconds. <laughs> we are getting some overdrip. I suspected that would be the case. So we may need to add a little paint, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we have. There. <laughs> well, that's kind of funky. Come on out. Let's see. Which one shall I use for the border? It's already kind of dark and dramatic, so we'll use a little black around the edges. Here's 
Hear my kitty cat crying for me? She doesn't like it when I get up off the couch and come in here. She wants me to stay out there with her on the couch. And I would love to, but then I would never get anything done. All right. And now we tilt. That is pretty darn cool. Trying to save as much of the pattern as I can, so I have a little bare on the corners, but we can solve that pretty easily. It is certainly dramatic, isn't it? I can't say I'm in love with these colors, but I I do think that is beautiful. I love the pattern that the eyes made especially, but then there's some from the three holes in the forehead, and there's all this going on down here from the, I guess that's the mouth guard, or the mouth area. Very, very, oh, I like these two lines. Okay, let me clean up and we will go in for a close-up. Oh, here's our mask. I'm not sure it would be that great as a Halloween mask, but it's pretty. It is pretty. Okay, lower left corner, up the left hand side, upper left corner, across the top. I love this section here with all the lines. I believe that's from the three slats at the very top. Upper right corner, down the left, or down the right side, and I love this. Both of these actually were the, the eye holes made those spots there. Very cool. Continuing down the right side to the lower right corner and along the bottom. And getting the entire thing in frame, hopefully, and focused. Come on, focus. All righty. What do you think, folks? What weird stuff have you poured over? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.